El Manawi. For China, Ki Young Kai. And the man who is coming out last, this is Herbert Asituno for El Salvador. The America's record, the World Championship silver, the America's champion. And who regularly will go along on the Open Championships in other continents and beat all comers. This is going to be fun. It's Group A, the 59 kilo final. At this point, all of them are warmed up. They're going to go to the back, grab their kits, go into the next room. This is just the holding room as they will get called in as they uh, are ready to lift. And the coaches are just trying to make sure they all stay focused, put their hoods on their hats, and just stay prepared. Let's see the referees then for this Group A, the ultimate clash. And there they are. Let's meet our officials. So for the Group A, the referees, Chief Referee, Centre Referee, Nur Saedia Macha of Malaysia. The left side referee from Yemen, Yasser Muslim. And the right side referee from Czechia, the Czech Republic, Veronika Kuchtova. Technical controller for this final, Hadis Chakui of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Zita Gyaku of Hungary is the technical delegate, and the final is one minute away. Mark Trigash will go first with a 160, Padasiuk 161, all the way to Ki Young Kai, 190. That's a 2 188. This should be some final. Yeah. I only got one question. So is that all you got? You go big or stronger. You push harder. Is that all you got? You climb higher, faster. So is that all you got? You put your best in the rest and no resting. Is that all you got? So you a victor. I only got one question. So is that all you got? Power lifting. Spot loaders, please load the bar to 160. So kilos here we 15. go. 59 kilo final. And some brilliant, actually, some brilliant names in this. And uh, not just the obvious ones. Lovely building crowd here the whole time. As is always the case at this venue for quite a few sessions. The bar is now loaded for his first attempt representing Polska, Man who's been around at numerous world championships. The 2018 European champion, the man from Zielonogora. Mariusz Uwiva, the national team coach with him as always. There's a busy man. 160 for Trikash. Reminder, the best attempt in Group B. 160 from his teammate, Marius Tomczyk, the new Legends European record, and it was matched by Emin Kodja. So he is going for third position here, Trikash. He was originally supposed to be in Group B, but I think there was a uh, switching of names. A 
and the swapping of Tomchik and Trikash means that uh, there's no longer a Legends entrant in Group A, so that competition is done, and Tomchik has won both gold medals in it. So 160 for Trikash. One sixty, prime. Good news, sir. Hey, hey, there you go. The former European champion is away in clear. One sixty. Boy, does he look happy. Nice attempt. Got one red light a little fast on the one side on the chest, but other than that, looked perfect. Two whites. He's moving on. Very nice. Oh, it was lovely. Now he's consulting to decide what his next Our attempt will be. For his first attempt representing Ukraine, Kostyanty Panasiuk. Kostyanty Panasiuk, the former European bronze medalist. Kostya has been based in Ovidiopol, was born in Odessa. Bronze in the Echo World Cup in 2017. And after that, uh, bronze in Belize last year. His first major championship medal, he'd been fourth in the previous Euros. Actually, Ukraine have been really good when it's come to the world championship um, team events he's won medals of the last two worlds in that 161 good lift there you go Done. really nice really really nice brings it down locks it out evenly drives it straight out and waits for the rock command really nice Great job. So great he almost went out the wrong door. So Panasiuk now leads on 161. The Asia Oceania bronze medalist in Piontech last year. From Kazakhstan, Stanislav Shakyev going for 170. It was a lift of 171 that earned him the bronze. His first major championship medal from Kizzy Lorda. His coaches, long term have been Mersagli, Yermakinov, and Back, Yitrek, Oris Bayev, Bangkok World Cup winner in 2021. Fourth in the last World Championship final. So here he is, chance for lead 170. It's a major step up in class. So 170, Shakiev didn't have to do a huge amount with it, and it is a good lift. So he now leads 170, and that's a good lift. And he leads by a long way. Really well achieved by him. Nine clear of the rest.
very impressive lifting from him. And again, it didn't have to go very far, being a, an athlete of short stature. And that's the way it is. He leads, and he leads by good bits. The bar is now loaded for his first attempt representing the Islamic Republic of Iran, Mohsen Bakhtiar. The freshly recrowned champion of Iran, Mohsen Bakhtiar, the Asian Oceanian champion from last year and fifth in the last World Championships. Twice the Asian Youth Games champion from Karai and the Gilan Province Club. Excellent combination. And I should point out as well, in terms of the uh, World Cup, in Dubai, the Fazal World Cup second with a lift of 187 behind Herbert Asituno of 187. He's getting strapped in. He's exactly where he wants to be on the bench. Nice and tight, ready to go. So here we go. Back to our going for 175. Good He's got it. Lead. Good lift. Mosian Bakta now leads at 175 and is very much game on. That was beautiful. Just absolutely perfect. Straight down. On the chest clean. Straight up. Locked out. That was beautiful. Another textbook attempt today. Wow. Up next for his first attempt representing Greece, Pashanis Kolomoglu. Well, the Asia Oceania champion has scored well. And what about the perennially successful European? The Scarlet Skulamoglu. Already this year, recrowned Greek champion and second in the Belize World Cup. He too, a reigning European champion, and he's won the last two crowns. So it's a bit of a clash of champs in this. Gold in Berksemer and gold in Belize. So Kulamoglu finished seventh in the Paralympic Games. Gets a good lift. Well done. Oh, perfectly executed. That was just beautiful also. Straight down, held on the chest, drove it straight up, locked out completely. That was a beautiful attempt. The African champion who finished eighth in the last World Championships. Mohamed El Menyawe for Egypt, going for 182 here. Egypt with prospects, definitely of claiming two of the three places on the podium. Getting strapped in, he's got his hands placed, legs far apart to ensure stability, and he's ready to roll. So here he comes, 182 Elman Yowie.
Working hard on that too. Yep, he's got it. He's got it. What a fabulous lift. Wasted no time getting in there, just letting it go, letting it rip, as we would say. That was amazing. That was amazing. Straight down, held it on the chest tight, drives it up, locks it out, and waits. Nice, really nice. On we go to one of the greats. So, Egypt in front, and Egypt will be in front after this, but Sherry Fosman means business. The five-time world, three-time Paralympic champion. Silver in Tokyo, he won the three previous golds. He is still the reigning world champion. Five in a row, starting in Kuala Lumpur in 2010, Dubai 2014, Mexico 2017, Astana 19, Tbilisi 2021. Looking for six in a row. And he walks in front of the bench and stares it down because he's going to attack it and he's ready to get in there and take control. Twice African champion. Same famous routine. For so many years, the same routine, methodical. That's one of the ways to be a good champion. It's worth pointing out, he's only 41. Definitely go on for a lot longer. He's in his mid-20s when he claimed his first Paralympic title. Three Paralympic wins in a row in Beijing, London and Rio. Silver last time out as it was in Tokyo, and bronze actually in the most recent African Championships in Cairo. But he did get the clinching lift for them to win the team gold in that. After being African champion in the two previous competitions, 183 for Sherry Fosman for the lead, and it is good. Osman out in front. Just with definition. He knew he had it before he got there. That's, he is just an incredible lifter to watch. He is technically accurate, and he knows he's taking charge, and he's gonna let it go. Straight down, no dump in the chest, straight up, locked out. Just perfect. Nice Another shot. wonderful effort from Hello. Sherry Mosman. Well, a man who's definitely a live candidate for this. The America's record holder is straight away looking to smash it. That record, 187. One kilo on top of it for Asutuna, the reigning Pan Am champion, Paralympic bronze in Tokyo. Silver the last World Championships. Silver the last two Americas Championships as it happens. So what comes now? 188 for a new American record by one kilo and the mark is currently his. the top male athlete at the 2019 Pan Ams in Lima. Gold in the Central American Games in 2018. But silver in St. Louis, silver in Bogota. Silver in Cairo in the African Open Championship. And bronze in Puntake in the Asia Oceania Open Championships, the first ever El Salvadorian at the Paralympic Games in any sport. In record form, 188, that's your lot.
record and he leads no miss yet brilliant lift he's got it 188 it's just a great lift just a great lift takes it out controls it down on the chest straight up locks it out nicely done and that's a lot of weight And that leaves one to go. Kui Yonkai, the Paralympic champion, who was dethroned as Asia Oceania champion by Mosi and Bakta last year. He'd previously won the title in 2018 as a junior, and needless to say, Claim the junior title there as well. That's the race to Hangzhou. He and Bakhtiar are there. Don't worry about that. He's thinking about World Championship gold, having finished seventh last time out. Silver in 2019 and gold in Tokyo at the Paralympic Games. And he does not have a title or anything to defend at the upcoming Asian Para Games because he was actually too new in 2018 to qualify for it. He was at the Asia Oceania Championships in Kitakyushu, but he didn't have enough competitions under his belt or enough heavy lifts. He's changed that now. 190. This to take the lead by two, four, China, the Paralympic champion. Well, he's punched that one through very well. Kei Young Kai leads. 190. Game on. And that magnificent. was just magnificent. He just made it look easy. Straight down, locks on his chest, drives it straight up. Just easy looking. Here it is. Lock and straight up and locks it out. Beautiful, beautiful attempt. Very, very impressive by Ki Young Kai. And again, it's a competition where we have so many reigning champions here. And here's one of them. A reigning European champion, one of two in this. For Poland, Marek Trikash. No misses from anybody in the first round and the standard has been high. Truly unreal, just amazing. Well, he's finished fourth, Trikash, at the 2017 World Championships in Mexico City having done so at the Paralympic Games in Rio. Curiosity about this is actually there's quite a lot of talented names in this who are not reigning champions, and yet you may well feel that they can extend themselves and take the gold into round two. Trekash 163, an addition of three from his previous effort, in which he was really delighted to have got it. And he waits again. No. Well, not this time. Press sequence, Press all three sequence. against. Yes. If you look and when we watch the replay, you'll see. His right arm presses, a chest sequence is great. On his way up, his right arm extends, extends, and then the left follows. And as we know, they have to be even. 
so no lift. Nice try. Hopefully come back and get it on the third attempt. He's got to decide, does he go up? Does he stay there? He and the coaches are discussing now because he only has one minute to hand in his next attempt. So misses his uh, second go, 163. So he is wiped out in terms of the total lift anyway. And anybody who misses that, it's very much the same case. So Panasiuk of Ukraine, the European bronze medalist from last year in Belize. Silvers and bronze in the team competitions in the last two world championships. He was sixth in 2019, full stop in Astana and seventh in Belize last time. Yegor Pirogov has been his uh, regular coach for a good few years. Born in Odessa. So 166. We'll keep him where he is. It's a leap of nine to Shakia. Well, one six six from Panasiuk. Gonna go to the flags. So let's see. Three white flags. Panasia. It's two lifts out of two. It definitely helps him in terms of the total combination. But he's off the pace a little bit in terms of the World Championship title. That was excellent. Brings it down, holds it, locks it straight up, locks it out. Just perfect. That's a lot of weight he's moving there. Wonderful. Stanislav Shakyev now. One seven six. To add to his one seventy, he climbed to sixth. That's where we are in terms of the competition. So Stanislav Shakir back again for Kazakhstan. He got 170 with his first attempt. This for 176. The climb from 7th to 6th. The Asia Oceania bronze medalist last year. The presence in Pyeongchang, compared with Asatuna, meant that he didn't pick up the open medals. Finished fourth in the open combination. Nothing too much to fret about. Jakiev is 35 now, going for 176. Again, it doesn't have to go very far. Up it goes. And he's got it. Two to one in his favor, the center referee voted him down, but the rest are happy. Very happy, and he's got a good lift, so he's still alive in terms of the open combination as well. In terms of the total, goes to 3 4 6. Great job, he just brings it down, holds on the chest, and presses it straight up. Very nice. Great work. Oh, 
impressive lifting by Shakia. The assaults on the medals will start now. Mosa Bakhtia is not looking to get into the top three straight away, but if he gets this lift of 181. There's Oceanian champion, but get within two kilos of the medals. He's in Angzhou, reached the end of that race. He used to be as well. Two from East Country allowed in, so Iran two, Iran three. And mostly on back there, it's worth pointing out, he's only 25. Real powerful campaigner and a great win to dethrone Ki Young Kai. Fifth is previous world champion's best. Twice Asian Youth Games champion. Well done. Really well done. And he's got that raised. And it is a good lift. 181. That was really great. He was and he goes into fifth position. He was massaging that left side chest there, so was a little concerned that there may be some problem, but he made it work, and he's, that was amazing. That was just amazing. He's increasing everybody's heartbeat. <laughs> and he's got both lifts in. Only Trikash has missed one so far. As the European champion, two in a row European champion, Pascalis Kulamoglu is next. 20th of the last World Championships, 10th in 2019, 6th in 2017. It was ever decreasing circles, but not anymore. If he gets this, he goes into the bronze medal position. Strapping himself, mentally getting himself prepared. One of the very few athletes that does not lift with wrist wraps. There are a few. He's currently sixth in the race to Paris. The reason why Sheriff Osman doesn't have a, a number against himself to the left is because he's the second placed Egyptian. So at the moment he's out of the hunt. Gulamoglu lifted 185 to claim the Hellenic title earlier this year. European champion by lifting 175, but he's got to go heavier here. No lift, two to one against. Reason why he finished 20th, by the way, last time was there was an injury there. He went for a very low mark of 90 just to get a result on the board, which he did. And he's done more than that here. And you see his right leg is moving up and down. That's a body position. He, you cannot do that. The legs, everything have to be straight and, and still, excuse me. And so this is where he's going to get that body position call. Alman Yawi looking to leap up to the bronze medal position. He's currently in fourth spot. Kulimoglu wiped out in terms of the total lift as well, by the way. Still four to lift in this second round of the three. Alman Yawi, 1A2 with four to add on. And this to go into the bronze medal position to overtake Sheriff Osman. He's currently ahead of Osman in terms of the race to Paris, as you see. Osman has got a few things to say about that. He Young Kai's 190 to lead, and Asatuno's 188. They have come in the first round. Um, and Manyawi for 186 to go into the bronze medal position. Yeah. 
strong effort. Good lift, three white lights. El Manyawi goes into the medals for Egypt. It's Egypt three and Egypt four, and Osman's been knocked out of the medals for the moment. That was incredible. I mean, these men are putting on a show today. Straight down, locked, loaded, ready to go. For his second attempt, the legend Shabri Osman! The three-time Paralympic, five-time world champion. One eight seven is very significant. Not only does it put him back into the bronze medal position, but it would put him above El Manyawi by one kilo, and suddenly Osman would be well in the race to Paris, and El Manyawi would be taken out of that list for the moment. Heady times for Egyptian para powerlifting. And you've got the all, well, one of the all-time greatest for many pound for pound he is. There are other names that would go into that hat. But he's up there. Sharif Osman has been at five world championships and has won gold at each and every one. This to go up to bronze again and to be three kilos off the gold. Some waiting for the reaction. Hundred and eighty seven. And it's up. And it's good. And it's good. Don't worry about the clock winding down. He started the lift before that. And Sheriff Osman goes into the bronze medal position on 187. And he now overtakes El Manyawi in the race to Paris. is just amazing. Just tight, straight up, locks it out, and he just knows what he wants and takes control of it. Incredible. The first title he ever contested was at the one-off Arab Championships in 2007. He won the gold in that. Has never ever looked back since. I bet I said to know for it. Another new America's record. He's just broken his own mark by one. This to add four to it. And this to go into the gold medal position. Right now there is a four-way battle for gold. Five-way battle for medals, I can see. And four kilos that Ebert Asituno is looking to add to his America's record. Strapped in, getting those wrist straps ready, and then he'll be ready to go. So, Isatuno, for another new America's record. The Pan Am champ into the gold medal position at the World Championships. He's done it again. Isatuno 
is reaching new ground and he is in goal with one round and an additional lift to go. Marvellous. That was amazing, straight down, locked on the chest, rocked it back up and waits. He's just such a clean lifter too. Just incredible. One lift to go in round two. And it is the Paralympic champion who's taking it. Dethroned as Asia Oceania champion. He's way up in the race to Hong Chu, so much so that he's nearly at the stadium. 193 for Ki Yong Kai to go back into the gold medal position again. The Hangzhou Xiaoshan Sports Center, where those Asian Para Games are happening at the end of October. Will he go there as world champion? This to take the lead in the penultimate round. He ready to overtake Asatuna by one. Asatuna 192, Key 190, Osman 187, the current 123. And if he gets this, it's suddenly a different complexion in terms of the race for gold. Right now, El Manyawi fancies it, and Osman as well. A key to change that complexion by going for 193. Here he comes, the Paralympic champion. Punching through well, getting the press complete. And Ki Young Kai goes back into gold. Two to one in his favor. For the Tokyo winner. That was excellent. Just brings it down. Great control. Holds it tight. Presses it straight up. He did get one red. Here he comes. Tight. Straight up. And locks it out. The bar may have shifted ever so slightly. That might have been the one red. Not really sure. Two whites and he's through. Nicely done. Great work. So there the situation, Ki Young Kai leading 193, as a 2 192, Osman in third and 187, El Manyawi fourth. So there's lots being sought in this final round, the battle for the medals, the race to Paris to see who the top Egyptian will be for now, still exactly a year ago. It's in one year's time, the Paralympic Games opening ceremony will take place in Paris. At the Place de la Concorde this time, in the city center it'll be that wonderful venue of history, the largest ever opening ceremony for an Olympic Games and a Paralympic Games. Marek Trikash, 166, out of the race for the total lift. But if he gets this, he goes level with Panisjuk and he stays in ninth place. So here he comes, 166 for Trikash. He's had a really good competition to date, and now he waits. No. Oh no, no, not this time. Press, Press sequence, sequence, all three against. He was so hopeful, he got the first one, not the last two. And Trikash, the former European champion in Berg Sumer, doesn't get it. And it shifts all the way to the back and all the way over. Just no good. Nice try, and he is very upset, you can tell. Disappointed, I'm sure. These are small technical errors. Bad to happen at this big event for him, 
but he can go home and fix that easily. Unfortunate. So we have a situation where seven of the nine can get all three lifts in successful. So currently leading the total lift is Amen Kodja, 468. Marian Stomchuk in second, 459, having won the Legends total lift and the Legends competition full stop for Poland. Panasiuk can open up a massive lead in terms of that with this 170. He'd go to 507 in the total lift. And in terms of the race to Paris, he would stay where he is. Osman, though, you'll see is now in fourth above El Manyawi. But that is a plot which will thicken again. He stays eighth, whether he gets this or not. But in terms of the total lift, he would take the lead for Ukraine. Panisyuk, 170. And he has 2-1 in his favor. The central referee voting him down for the press. But he completes his set and he leaves the total lift. And he may end up on the podium for it. 497. That was beautiful. That was really a beautiful lift. Down, holds, straight up, locks it out. Just beautiful. Overjoyed. He worked Bronx hard. in the European Championships last year, fourth in the Paralympic Games. And he now finishes eighth in the World Championships. And finishing seventh is Stanislav Shakyev. However, if he gets this, again, he leads the total lift. And he'd go on to five, two, seven. I make it, which would be a lead of 30 over Panacea. He's riding high in terms of the Asian Para Games qualification. So he'll be there for Kazakhstan. So 179 for Shakyev. He stays where he is in terms of the combination, but the total lift would see him take the lead if he's got that right. Now, what about that final bit at the end? No. That's cost him two and against. Shakiev misses out a 179 and he is blown out in terms of the total combination. Absolutely. And exactly what you just said, Will, is the case. That very end, that extra little push is what gave him away. Straight down, locked out, lock, 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 and then an extra push on the other side. So that means he was not evenly locked out and totally locked out. Unfortunate, hard time for this to happen. Mozan Bakhtia will be up next, going for 183, so he's not climbing either. But in terms of the total lift, he could make a 193 is the lead. Asatuno uh, and Key are going for gold. Osman and El Manyawi are now fighting for the bronze. So back to you going for 183. Again, he's got his first two lifts, so this four. The lead and the total lift. 497 for Panisjuk. He will be at the Asian Para Games. And he's riding high in terms of Paris too.
third in that race to Paris. Right now he is looking comfortable. But a long way to go, and as we always say, there may be somebody who actually emerges who is not e yet even a para-athlete. Paris for a year's time, exactly a year's time. Back to our 183. Look at that. To take the lead and the total lift, he has it. He has it. Great lift. He's left himself more palpitations there, but he made it. That was marvelous. Just straight up drives, 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 laps out. Complete body smooth, still other than his arms and shoulders moving. That was incredible. What a feat of strength that was. Wow. And so back to you. 539 now leads the total lift ahead of Patrick Sirk 497. He barely looks tired. It's unreal. Kalamoglu going for 188. And he is now jousting for the bronze. Well, that's a sudden change of decision because uh, El Manyawi and Osman were originally looking in the 190s, you'll have noticed earlier. So Kulamoglu, yes, there will be a nice leap up to third spot in the race to Paris. But for Kulamoglu, who was injured at the last World Championships frustratingly, this would be a step up to the bronze medal if he can get a, a 188. With four left to lift. He's satisfied for now and every right to be. Kulamoglu goes into the bronze medal position on 188. It is a three way battle for bronze. Brilliant lift. This was just sensational. He comes down nice and tight on the chest. Holds it straight up, locks it out, and he actually held it longer at this time of the game than anybody else would. That was unbelievable. He sold that lift really well. So four to go. Osman now in fourth, Kulamoglu third. This for 189. This to go back into the bronze medal position and El Manyawi currently down for 189 as well, but he can't go for that if Osman gets this. But the important headline is that for the first time at a World Championships, Sheriff Osman will not win the gold. He's been in five World Championships previously and won gold at each one. But well, there's no passing of the baton just yet. He's still in the game of winning medals. He's still, by a long way, one of the best in the world. And he's taking plenty of time, really getting focused, telling that bar, I am in charge of you. Hundred and eighty nine for Osman. This to go back into bronze. Kulamoglu's there right now. As a Tuna and Key will fight out for the gold. Osman has his own fight on. And if he gets this, and if he stays there, then he will have won a medal at every world championship he has been at. And up to this point, he has won a gold at every world championship he is at. And that changes with this lift. Hundred and eight. To get back into the top three right at the end. Osman. Oh, he's going, going, going. He's made it up. He's made it up. 
Does it count? No, no two and against on the press. No. He doesn't get it and he will not get a medal unless they challenge it. It is fourth place for Osman. And for the first time at a World Championship, Sheriff Osman does not win a medal. And previously, it had always been the gold. That is some turn of events there because we are all used to seeing him being able to lock it out. Today wasn't his day. Nice on the chest, straight up, straight up, comes back, almost stops on that press and just can't get it clean. Well, they are gonna put a lift challenge in to see if he makes it. Now, don't worry about the clock there. They're voting. And this is a challenge I would put in, it's worth it. And don't worry about El Manyawi's name there either. They're voting in Cherry Fosman, El Manyawi lifts next. And that lift challenge is rejected. Sherry Fosman has no medal from these World Championships. There will be team events to come. He had the clincher at the African Team Championships in Cairo. Bronze it was for him individually in his final at the African Championship. But Mohamed El Shinawi, who is the African Champion now, at the age of 24, also going for 189. And this would definitively be for the bronze medal. He's currently in fifth place. Kulamoglu is still in bronze on 188. The battle for gold follows. El Manyawi would also leap back above Osman in the race to Paris with this there. Pushing each other on only one per country at the Paralympic Games. So 189 for El Manyawi. And he's pushed through. Is that good enough for the bronze medal? It is El Manyawi, a World Championship bronze medalist alongside his African title. And he leaps up in the race to Paris as well above Osman. And right now he is Egypt's number one and the world number three. That was incredible. What a feeling, I'm sure. I mean, Sharif is a legend and I don't mean just an age and to beat him out is incredible. And with an, an, just an amazing attempt, straight down, loaded on the chest, loaded up, blew it up, nicely done. Great work. Elman Yowie also leads the total lift, 5.57. Five, five, Back to his 5.39, Panasiuk's 4.97. So everybody from the other groups wiped out. So, Isatuno, going for 193 and another new America's record Key on Kai has hit this target first All right, Satuno aiming for another America's record He has the World Championship silver, El Yamani, the bronze. For his third America's record of the day, Evan Isatuno, 193. A wonderful lift, three wide lights, and his third America's record of the day. Fantastically put home by Esatuno, and he gets 
Another World Championship silver. 194 would have put him into the lead. 193, not enough. Stops. Unless he goes for another record, of course. Locks out. I don't know, he doesn't look that exhausted. He may. That was amazing. He is some lifter. He is some lifter. Actually, all these gentlemen are some lifters. This has been exciting. Kei Young Kai, 193 on gold. I said Turno, 193 in silver. El Manyawi, third and 189. Kula knocked out of the medals. Kei Young Kai, for the first time, World champion. For now. The Paralympic champion. Silver in 2019. I don't know why Asituna didn't go for 194 in truth. Because that would have been a lift for gold. And then Ki Young Kai's 194 would have to be a 195. If Asituna had got it, of course. Ki Young Kai, 194. Asituna, by the way, in the gold medal position for the total lift. And if Ki misses this, at least he gets a gold. But for now, not the gold. Ki Young Kai for 194. And he's got it. And he wins the total lift. World title success for Ki Young Kai. Wow. That was beautiful. He seemed fast on the chest, but when we watched the replay, I'm quite sure he stopped noticeably, discernibly. And that was a great attempt. Ki Young Kai wins it, the competition is over. 194 for Ki Young Kai, Asatuna the silver, 193. This the final lift to win Ki Young Kai, both available gold medals. He also wins the total lift, 577 to Asatuna's 573. And Mohamed El Manyawi wins both bronzes as well. 189, Ki Asatuna El Manyawi the 123 in the best lift and the total lift. Isotuno had nothing to lose if he'd gone for 194. Apart from maybe the total silver medal. Kulamoglu fourth in the bronze for so long. And Sheriff Osman fifth. His lowest ever finish in a world championship. The first time that he has finished lower than first.
So another intriguing final, the men's 59 kilo decider. And we have a new world champion and we've got, actually in terms of world championships, two new men on the podium as well. And the medals for this 59 kilo victory ceremony will be presented by Dylan Richardson, the development manager for World Para Powerlifting. The medalist from Egypt, Mohamed El Menyawi. The African champion picks up the bronze medal, Mohamed El Menyawi, 189. Overtaking Sheriff Osman in the Paralympic qualification for now, with exactly a year to the opening ceremony. Osman finishing fifth, outside America's of the medals for the first time at a world championship. Three American records broken in succession by Herbert Isituno. And the last of them, 193, with his third attempt, which meant that he was going for the silver, which he's very happy about his second world championship silver. Silver in 2019, seventh two years ago, dethroned as Asia Oceania champion. But now the Paralympic champion, Ki Young Kai, is the world champion too. 194, his decisive lift in round three. Ladies and gentlemen, Rise. Great boost ahead of the, the, of the upcoming Anthem Asian Games, which will be his first China. next year's Paralympic Games. Keon Kai wins for China. And this is the one, two, three in the total lift as well. They go all their marks in. Key Asatuno, El Manyawi. The one, two, three. Kudamoglu just edged out by El Manyani's last attempt. Kudamoglu four, Osman five. So Key Yunkai takes the honors. The silver for Asatuno. Elman Yawi, the bronze. And the Legends competition won by Matthias Tomczyk of Poland. Both the Legends Championship and the Legends Total Lift. And he actually finished fifth in the Total Lift. So the last two individual titles decided tomorrow, 9.30 a.m. Dubai time. The men's 80 kilo final, followed by 88 in the afternoon. Until then, from Dubai, a very good night.